In this exercise, we will carry out an optimal remote controlled switch placement. Activate the optimal RCS placement study case. Choose the distribution network tools toolbar and carry out a backbone calculation. Ensure that you generate backbones for all feeders and that the calculation is based on network structure. Execute the calculation. Run an optimal RCS placement calculation. On the basic options tab, ensure that the for all feeders option is selected and the objective function is minimize ENS. Make sure that the number of new remote control switch per feeder per backbone is set to 1. Ensure the recording of results is set to save results and variations. On the advanced options page, ensure that determine optimal RCS is selected per backbone. Execute the command. This may take some time. You can see the results of the calculation in the output window. You can see that one new RCS is created for each backbone of each feeder. We will now check this solution by running a reliability assessment of the existing network. You can see that the optimal RCS placement has created a new network variation. Contained within this variation are a number of expansion stages. Each expansion stage contains a new RCS placement. First, we will run a reliability assessment without the addition of any of the new RCS placements. Execute it with the default options. If we look at the results of the assessment, you can see that the energy not supplied, ENS, is equal to 8,610 megawatt hours per annum. If we now activate one of the expansion stages and rerun the reliability assessment, you can see that the ENS has reduced. This indicates that the solution is a good one. 